All right, so this video is for the people who say that Honda engines and Hondas are slow and that they just make a lot of noise and they don't go anywhere. First of all, you have Honda swap engines swap into Lotuses, into NSXs, the K swap Miata, the MR2, and even S2000s. So first thing is people are going to say, oh, in that list you have a Honda S2000 and a Honda NSX, which are Hondas. Correct. But both of those Hondas are rear-wheel drive. So they are more efficient in transferring power to the ground than the front-wheel drive Hondas, including the Honda Integra, Acura Integra, Honda Civic, and all the other front-wheel drive Honda, Honda Accords, TSX, RSX, whichever one you want. That's the first thing. And they've proven effective too, as well. Then you have the foreign or other cars that are not Hondas. Toyota IMR2, Lotus Exiles, and the K-Swap Miata. Miatas are known for their handling, but from the factory, they didn't come with a lot of power, which that wasn't what they were meant for. They were more focused on handling, which is great. Some people wanted more power, so they K-Swap the Miata. Uh, K-Swap, yeah, a Miata. And clearly it gave results. The car sticks well, it transfers power as well, and it goes faster around the circuit with the more powerful engine. Case in point, Lotus Exercise as well comes with a Toyota engine. They took out the Toyota engine and case swapped it. And other engines as well, not necessarily case swapped, B series, other I read articles about them. Faster car around the track. You've seen the K-Swap NSX on other channels, racing Supras, GTRs. I'm not sure if it be all of those cars, but it definitely proved to be competitive on the street. So, how is it that it has a lawnmower engine, but the car is going up against six cylinders, V8s, and it's beating them. Not only that, in drifting, now, there's an S15, I believe, it's in Europe, but I believe it's in Ireland. It has a K-Swap, K24, to compete against the LSX, the 2JZ, that dominate the drift scene. And obviously the car hasn't gone out on track, hasn't debuted yet, but from what it looks like, it sure can be a competitive car. 2.4 liter, 4 cylinder, turbo. I'm pretty sure it's definitely gonna stretch some tires. It's up to the driver to obviously make the most out of the power and the engine and the car. But the point here is that how are you saying it's a lawnmower engine when it makes 500, 600, 1,000 horsepower and even more and it's beating cars with twice the number of cylinders and even two or three times the size of the engine in liters and people still say that Hondas have lawnmower engines that doesn't make any sense like why would they swap a car that's not a Honda with a Honda engine and say it's faster that most Hondas or not most there are a lot of Hondas that just have an intake and exhaust are rusted out are ugly are old they're not the fastest car around there's people who claim that that all depends on what car we're talking about, obviously. But this isn't to say that every Honda that you see with an exhaust is going to be the fastest Honda in the world or the fastest car, period. But don't underestimate them because usually the people who underestimate them are the people that get embarrassed when they try to race them at the stoplight. And the car goes two to three car lengths ahead of them. And then they say the Hondas are slow. Those are the people who usually have the, the, the biggest opinion about them. So... All I'm saying is, don't underestimate them and stop hating on them. Well, that's up to you if you want to keep hating on them. And at the end of the day, they've proven to be effective. You can have fun on a budget, and they definitely sound nice. So, if you want to be a hater, then that's your choice. So, that's it for this video. That's all I wanted to say. Support my opinion with facts. And 
I will see you guys in the next video.